Hello everyone, I have finally made my Procreate brushes and they are available for you right now. So you can buy them online, they're not very expensive. Um, it comes with a variety of brushes, some are really cool and I'm really excited to show you. Others are just a little bit more of a novelty and some really standard things that I just use in my work process. So I'm going to show you today through uh, some of my favourite brushes that are included in this brush set. So let's get into it and have a look. The Able Pencil is one of two sketching pencils that I have created for this brush set. It was one of the first ones that I actually made and it's inspired by the Peppermint Pencil that comes default with Procreate. I wanted to learn how to make my own brushes so I took that inspiration and tried to put my own kind of aesthetics and my own needs to it really, tweaked it to how I kind of want a brush to work. So it's pretty much a standard sketching brush. There's nothing too fancy about it. It's got a nice little bit of texture to it and you can also do some tilt shading. So the liquid pencil kind of happened by accident. I was trying to make some painting brushes and it just kind of happened. I was like, wow, this could make a pencil brush. Um, so that's kind of how this one happened. It's got some interesting effects where you can draw and sort of like draw back with the same stroke and it will kind of blend. It's kind of like a blending pencil brush. It's hard to explain without you trying to use it, but um, this is definitely my favorite brush to, to sketch with at the moment. Uh, especially like really loose gestural poses. It just seems to just flow out of the brush. I, I don't know how to explain it, um, but it's definitely a joy to work with this one. Um, and I'm quite proud of it. It also has some nice tilt shading effects too. But yeah, so the texture is, it's, it's different. I haven't really seen a pencil brush like this, so I'm quite proud of it and I hope you find some enjoyment out of it too. So one of the first ink brushes we have is the Able Ink Brush. It's a very standard inking brush. It, there's nothing too fantastically different about it than your normal standard brushes that you will probably ink with. Um, it's just something that I have made. Uh, it also has a slight texture to it, so it's not solid black. Even if you choose solid black from your color, um, it will come out a very, very dark gray with some nice sort of papery kind of textures to it. Um, and that's one of the things that I've been trying to do with my ink brushes is I don't want solid black. I don't want perfection, perfect lines. Perfect lines to me currently are quite boring. I've, I've worked with perfect lines for a long time in Photoshop and I just want to add more character as I go along these days. So that's Able Ink. So I think this is definitely one of my favorite brushes. I actually only finished this just the other day. <laughs> I wanted to take Able Ink and push it even further because what I'm trying to recreate in a way is the aesthetic feel of when I draw in my sketchbooks. Uh, and when I scan my line art, I really enjoy the, the textures, the imperfections. And so that's what I think so far as I have successfully done with this brush is it's sort of reminiscent of like a raw scan of your artwork. Whenever you scan you know your art or whatever I scan my art it doesn't come out pure black it, it's it's not like that and that's something that I really really like 
as I said before with the Able Ink brush, is that I really like textures and imperfections. And yeah, this brush came out just really, really nice. I can get obsessed with like aesthetic little details. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this brush at the moment. I look forward to working with it a lot more. Sloppy ink. <laughs> this is a very fun brush. It came about from just experimenting with brush making and I wanted to make brushes with a little bit of a splatter effect that pops out kind of randomly but sort of a bit more based on pressure when you do your strokes. So that's sort of how this brush came about. Originally I did have that splatter effect in most of my ink brushes but I thought I didn't want to overdo it so for the moment it's strictly just this sloppy ink brush. You can use it however you want, but this is how I've been using it. Just to like lay down some inks just really, really quickly and get over the whole trying to make everything perfect. Like, it definitely comes out with a different kind of feeling at the end of it. Absolute freedom to it, which is just really fun. Um, and like I said, the little pops of like splatter that pop out is just um, something I was quite proud of. It took a long time to try and figure out how to do that by myself. I haven't used any tutorials or anything like that. So um, yeah, I was pretty proud of that one. So the dry brush pen is also one that I'm really excited about. So the basic premise of this brush is if you've ever used a Pentel pocket brush pen, which is, it's a large brush tip pen um, with real bristles. And when they run out of ink, it has this really kind of cool effect. I mean, it's not particularly useful if you want to do really nice clean lines, but um, Back when I was working on Nightmares and Visions and I was doing up like just concepts, I was using this um, dry brush to just make mess with. <laughs> um, and I found that really enjoyable. So I wanted to make a brush that had that kind of effect. And I've used it for a, a few things now. For example, um, like creatures that are made out of wood, things that have like a lot of texture to them. I think it really works for. I also used it for my uh, little five page story in Australia Burns which was uh, about a koala escaping a bushfire. So I used it for all the, the trees in that story as well. So that kind of really worked for that. Um, and again, something I want to use more and see what I can see where I can push this brush, see what I can do with it. This brush I'm also really quite proud of. Uh, it came before there was a lot of watercolour brushes going around online. I won't mention any names, but I've been working on this brush for like four months, maybe maybe longer actually. Um, well, ever since Procreate 5 came out. Uh, well, actually before Procreate 5 came out, let me say. So yes, it's had a few different iterations, but currently the concept of this brush is I do a lot of ink wash drawings in my sketchbooks. So that involves an actual paintbrush, a pot of water, sorry, a, a, <laughs> a jar of water usually, and a pot of ink. And it's about just like mixing raw ink with water and getting uh, tonal values from it and adding that straight on top of your ink drawing. And so that's kind of, that is what I wanted, wanted to replicate. I think I achieved it. I mean, I'm pretty happy with these, these results. I look forward to making some new brushes. I would like to make my own watercolor brushes, but I haven't really delved into that just yet because they are so prevalent online at the moment. People are doing them quite well. So I'm just sticking with this for the moment, but we'll see what happens in the future. This is strictly a an ink wash brush. Now you do want to use a mid-tone grey colour. If you use black, it can look quite heavily textured, but yeah, so you can just pick the range of colour and slap it on. It's actually one of my most enjoyable brushes I've ever created, so I just love using that one. 
Well that comes to the conclusion of my little demonstration of my new Procreate brushes. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. If you would like to support me in making brushes and creating art and you just want to throw some couple of dollars my way, please head on the links that are detailed in this video and online about where you can get these brushes from. All the details will be attached to this video somewhere because right now I don't actually know where they are because <laughs> I haven't uploaded them as of making this video. But they're out there somewhere now and you can buy them and that will be really awesome. I look forward to making new brushes. Please let me know what you think if you do download them. I would love your feedback and cheers guys. See you next time.